All right, everybody. We're going to attempt to make this, I guess I'll call it a soup spoon. This is a poplar, and I have a lot of this poplar, so might as well use it up as much as I can. So we're going to attempt to make this today. And as usual, <clears throat> I'm going to start by knocking these sides down here. Just make sure you guys can see this. All right. For the most part you can raise this up a little bit. All right, so got about half of that done. And I'm going to go ahead and knock this other side down, and when I have some more done, I'll come right back. All right, I got the uh, sides off here. Close to, well, not really close, but down to a manageable, manageable spot here. I'm going to work on the bowl now. This is pretty flat, this piece of wood, so we'll see. What we can do with this, let me back this up a little bit, make sure that I guess I can be seen. And we're just going to start by carving this out. Closer. So I'm going to continue working on this. Probably going to take a few minutes, more than that. And uh, when I have some more done, I'll come right back. All right, I'm back. I have some of the bowl done. Uh, before I get too deep, I wanted to maybe experiment a little bit. Let me zoom out here. I just want to experiment a little bit. And I'm going to try to have more of a, I guess more of an upsweep on the front of this bowl. Generally, I don't go so, I guess, dramatic or, and we'll see how this works. I just wanted to get some of this on camera, I guess. Watch those fingers. Plenty of room.
So I guess that's getting pretty thin. All right, so I guess that's maybe what I was going for. It's hard to tell on camera, but it kind of goes up a little pretty pretty sharp, pretty steep, I guess, if you will. Um, and I guess while I'm doing this here on camera, I'll, I'll kind of uh, shape underneath the handle a little bit and get these corners off. Hopefully I didn't... You know, a lot of this can be done with a knife, but since the... Uh, you know, the axe is out, might as well. <clears throat> might as well knock this stuff out if I can. Trying to be a little careful here. All right, so that's what we have so far. And I'm going to continue uh, shaping this off camera, and I'll come back when I have some more done. All right, so I'm back. Probably hard to tell here. I got pretty much the bowl is done. It's roughed out. I'm happy with it. So now I'm just going to, you know, start my usual process here of uh, working on the spoon here. I don't know how much you can see. Not really sure how this is going to turn out. I'm not sure if I'm going to add a spine to this or what. I am not sure. It's definitely going to be pretty, that's for sure. So, you can see bowl is coming so it's up bowl here I guess or underneath and then a little curve going up <clears throat> see how that looks I guess that's good <clears throat>
hoping everybody can see what I'm doing. So let me uh, continue working on this and I will uh, come right back when I have some more done. Be right back guys. All right guys, I'm back. So I have a lot of this spoon done and I guess I just kind of want to show uh, some of my work here as I'm doing it. I don't want to finish all of it while I'm off camera, but again, a lot of this is improvised and it takes a, for me, it just takes a long time to, well not a long time, but it can take a long time to figure out exactly where I'm, what I'm going to do and, and all that. And I guess it can be kind of boring, I guess. I was going to add a finial to this, but I guess it's just going to be kind of a rounded handle, <clears throat> kind of. And I did add a spine to this, so. <clears throat> We'll see here how we're gonna, what we're going to do. Still kind of playing with the bowl here underneath. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Still trying to figure out exactly where I'm going to go. This spoon's pretty thin actually, which is good. Good, perfect for eating. I'm just trying to shape, make this a little bit elegant. Oops. Let's go with this. <clears throat> okay. This is going to be a little. Can't see what I'm doing. Camera works really bad on this one, so I apologize. So I'm still just kind of looking at it and trying not to go too far with anything. Looking here, still a little rough. This thing's gonna be really pretty when it's done. I can see that. So I'm gonna just continue to play around with this. Ouch. And I will come back when there's more done um, in, a, in a little bit. Be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. So this is, uh, I guess, the finished product. I had stuff to sand this, I show, so I shouldn't say it's finished, but I'm going to go ahead and sand this, and I will be right back. 
All right, everybody, I'm back. So I'm going to show on camera here using a food safe mineral oil. So, whoops, let me tip this down a little bit here. Dip, drill it, tip it. Uh, spilling it on the floor. So, it's going to coat this here. This is not, I'm not using, uh, not using the vegetable oil, the olive oil mixture. So this is what we have. The mineral oil doesn't darken the wood up as much as the olive oil and vegetable oil. So this is what we have. It's pretty. And it'll darken slightly as the oil dries and everything. Pretty cool looking. Turned out really well. This would be a nice little eating spoon, soup spoon for someone. And several more coats of oil. You know, it'll be finished soon. And so this is what we have so far. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for the support. And I'll catch you on the next one.